In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we uh, continue our Easter octave, we'll recite a Gloria together in just a moment. But first, let's call to mind our sins, asking for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts, and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all of the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, you children of Israel, why are you amazed at this and why do you look so intently at us as if we made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence, and then decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him perfect health in the presence of all all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, Lord our, our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your, your name in all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O, o Lord, Lord, our, our God, God, how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all, in all the, earth. the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O, o Lord, Lord, our God, God how, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. O, o Lord, Lord, our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all, all the earth. earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. In the gospel today, uh, Jesus tells the disciples, after unlocking sort of scripture for them, that um, the goal now is to preach repentance. Repentance is the thing that they will be witnesses to and that they will be on for, for proclaiming. And, and repent, repentance essentially is to, to regret sort of deeply uh, to have such sorrow in one's heart that it, that it changes one's trajectory. Um, in the Acts of the Apostles, the first reading, this is what Peter says is the blessing that God bestows upon his people, is the ability to repent. If I came up to you and said, I'd like to offer you a blessing, you would say yes. And then my follow-up is, I need you to repent. Most of us would go, oh no. But Peter says that's the blessing. The ability to repent is the blessing. And in many ways, it's a participation, sort of a foretaste in the resurrection. It's my life, it's my body, it's my voice. I'm suddenly operating in the space in a new way, which is what's going on with Jesus now. Look, it's me. 
my flesh, my bones, my voice. It's me, but operating differently now. And now you get to do the same. This previous life that was killing you, whether you knew it or not, I'm giving you the ability to participate in something new. Still your body, still your voice, still you, but different. And there's the gift of repentance. So may you and I be open to the uh, 50 days of Easter to be able to be alert to the, the Lord's invitation and to understand that that call to repentance is uh, very much a blessing. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this Easter season, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. We pray continually for those new Catholics and those who celebrate the sacraments of initiation at the Easter Vigil. We continue to pray for Jenny, Steve, Sophia, Rory, Willow, Ezra, Donovan, Tori, Michael, Christina, and Cassidy. May the Lord grant them graces to be able to participate in ongoing repentance uh, so that the Lord might bless them. We pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray uh, for those whose uh, hearts have grown calloused over the years, who are uh, impervious in many ways to the invitation to change, to grow. We ask that this Easter season, the Lord's voice might uh, penetrate what has become calcified, enable them to repent, to regret deeply, to experience new life. We pray to the Lord. We uh, pray for those who are impoverished in body or spirit, those who lack uh, the basic necessities uh, for life that is rich with meaning. We ask that the Lord in his goodness might intervene for them today, providing them for the re with the relationships and resources they need for their healing and sustenance. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, and those under hospice care. We pray especially for those who battle mental illness or disease who are easily misunderstood. We ask that the Lord's healing will would manifest itself in their lives. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Bob Schweitzer and for Sharon Flynn. May Bob and Sharon's souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Mary Kate Hughes. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers according to your will. Grant us graces this Easter season that we might be open more fervently to the call of repentance and receive your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.